So I will start uh, with my personal journey, what actually led me to Wave Energy, and then I will tell a little bit about our technology and about our newest project in Greece. So this is a picture of me actually when I was two years old, not directly related to Wave Energy. Uh, I live in Israel, but I was born in Ukraine in 1986. And two weeks after I was born, the Chernobyl nuclear reactor exploded, causing the largest in history nuclear disaster. I was one of the babies that got hurt from the negative effects of the explosion. I actually had a respiratory arrest and a clinical death. Luckily, my mother, a nurse, approached my crib on time. She gave me a mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation until the ambulance came and saved my life. Given a second chance in life, I really want to do something good with it. And I believe that wave energy is the answer. So why wave energy? First of all, it's an amazing renewable energy source. As opposed to solar, which is also a great source, wave energy can operate 24-7 around the clock. Also, the density of water is 832 times greater than density of air, meaning we can produce much larger electricity amounts with much smaller and cheaper devices. In Europe alone, by the year 2050, wave energy is expected to produce 10% of all Europe's electricity needs. And globally speaking, wave energy on its own can produce twice the amount of electricity that the world produces now. So if wave energy is so great, why don't we see it everywhere? We see solar panels, we see wind farms, but why not wave energy? And the answer lies in the photo here before you. This is not eco-wave power. This is uh, the dominating technologies in the wave energy sector, offshore technologies. They are expensive because they need ships and divers and underwater mooring and cables. They break down because in the offshore you have waves of 20 meters and even higher. Difficult to ensure and environmentalists are objecting it because it's creating a new presence on the ocean floor which disturbs the environment. What we see here on the screen, this is eco-wave power. Smart, simple, easy to implement. The only thing in the water are the floaters, the floaters belong in the water, and all the expensive machinery is on land, just like a regular power station. So how does the technology work? So the floaters are connecting to existing man-made structures, such as piers, breakwaters, jetties, and other types of structures. They're going up and down with the movement of the waves pushing the hydro cylinders, which transmits biodegradable fluid into land-located accumulators. A pressure is being built, which is used to turn the hydro motor, turning the generator, and sending clean electricity into the grid. The advantages of our technology is that it's 100% environmentally friendly. We don't connect to the ocean floor, we only connect to existent man-made structures. We're cost efficient. This power station is in Gibraltar. It's 100 kilowatt installed capacity and cost us only $450,000, as opposed to Pelamis, the previous technology that I showed you, that cost for the same scale about $150 million, uh, which of course is very expensive in development costs. The solution is also reliable. When the waves are too high for the system to handle, the floaters automatically rise above the water level, like we can see in the photo in the bottom of the screen, and they stay in the upward position until the storm passes. And the technology is fully insurable. The company currently has 17 patents and patents pending. 11 are already approved, and the rest are pending, including in Israel, United States, European Union, and an international PCT. So our commercialization plan includes our newly planned to be open power station in Israel in collaboration and co-investment from the Israeli Energy Ministry, which recognized us as pioneering technology. Also this year, we're planning to open our first plant in the United States, in the port of Los Angeles. And our first megawatt scale project is planned to be in Portugal or in Adriano port in Spain, where we just recently signed concession, commercial size concession agreements. And here we can actually see our newest project, our project in Greece. Uh, we're currently in collaboration with the Halki Islands. We have here the mayor of Halki Island. Uh, basically, the island wants to be 100% green, 100% renewable, and even won an award for such a desire. Uh, they will be combining one megawatt of solar energy, one megawatt of wind energy, and one megawatt of wave energy. 
NESOI, which is an EU organization, European uh, Iceland facility, is providing funding for the feasibility study, which we aim to finish by the end of the year, and which will enable the construction of the first ever one megawatt in Greece. The company currently holds project pipeline of 327 megawatts, including projects in Europe, United States, Asia, Oceania, South America, and North America. So why eco-wave power is a good combination? First of all, most of the companies in our field are still in very early R&D stages. We already have accumulated 327 megawatts of projects in our pipeline. We also have significant operational experience. We have operated a grid-connected power station in Gibraltar since 2016, and we're currently finalizing our second grid-connected power station in Israel that will be launched in the upcoming two months. We have a support from the research community. IRENA, the International Renewable Energy Agency, says that point absorber, which is the type of our technology, will dominate the wave energy market in the future. And we have strong strategic partnerships, such as the partnership with EDF, the partnership with Meridian Energy in Australia, and Alta C in the Port of LA. And I would like to finalize my presentation by saying that although I'm not objective, I'm a strong believer in wave energy, I do think that the solution for the world's problem is combining all renewable energy sources, wind, solar, wave, and this is really the way to have a 100% environmentally friendly world. This is why one of our recent patents, as we can see in the photo, is adding solar panels on top of our floaters, which is basically dead space which we don't use for anything else. And our company just received the Global Climate Action Award from the United Nations, and we're also part of the Sustainable Markets Initiatives of uh, the World Economic Forum and Prince Charles, and we're recognized by the European Commission and the European Union. Thank you very much.